massive open online course. So, we are looking at amplitude shift keying and we said in amplitude shift keying uh, either uh, uh, we are transmitting the amplitude level A or the amplitude level 0 all right and the two waveforms are distinguished by the amplitude level and we have looked at the, what is the we have looked at the optimal matched filtering at the receiver and uh, the optimal statistic after sampling that is R of t we have shown is given as R of t. this is either A E P plus N tilde if A not equals A or simply N tilde if A not equals 0. Okay. And we have said in this scenario R T equals A E P uh, plus a tilde well this is a gaussian so we have seen first n tilde in both cases n tilde is gaussian mean equal 0 variance equals n naught by 2 times e p so in this case r t is gaussian with mean a e p that is the Gaussian shifted to A e p and variance remains unchanged that is n naught by 2 times e p and in this case where you have a naught equals a in this case it is simply Gaussian with uh, mean equals 0 and variance equals n naught by 2 times E p. So, the probability density functions corresponding to A naught equals uh, A naught equals A and A naught equals 0 are still Gaussian in nature and similar to B p s k they are also shifted, but in amplitude shift keying corresponding to A naught equals 0 the mean is still 0 correct and uh, corresponding to this amplitude corresponding to a naught equals a the amplitude is a e p this point is a e p and by symmetry midpoint is a e p divided by 2 therefore one can decide a not equals well a if r t is greater than or equal to a e p by 2 and on the other hand decide a naught equals 0 if r t is less than a e p by 2. Now, one other way to look at this is we have remember r t equals a e p plus n tilde and here we have this is corresponding to a naught equals a and this is corresponding to a naught equals 0. Now, if we consider r tilde t equals r t minus a e p by 2. Now, if you subtract a e p by 2 then we have well r tilde t will be a e p minus a e p by 2 that is a e p by 2 plus n tilde if a naught equals a and this will become minus a e p by 2 
plus n tilde if a naught equals 0. Now, you can see there is symmetry, it is symmetric about 0. So, now you can see this is similar to BPSK, similar to BPSK with A E P replaced by A E P by this is similar to B P S K with A E P replaced by A E P by 2. Therefore, again now we have something that is similar to B P S K that is uh, A E P by 2 plus n tilde minus A E P by 2 plus n tilde. Remember uh, for B P S K binary phase shift keying we had A E P by A E P plus n tilde minus A E P plus n tilde. Therefore, in that sense this is similar to binary phase shift uh, keying with A E P replaced by A E P divided by 2. Hence, the optimal detector again can be to decide A naught equals A if R tilde t greater than or equal to well 0 implies R t minus A E P by 2 greater than or equal to 0 implies R t greater than or equal to A E P by 2. So, decide, so the decision rule is decide again we get back the same decision rule R t which is R t greater than or equal to A E P by 2 implies decide A naught equals A R t less than A E P by 2 implies decide A naught is equal to decide A naught is equal to minus A. Okay. So, this is the decision rule that we have. Now, if you look at the probability of bit error, again the probability of bit error can now be derived easily. Now, you see this is similar to BPSK. If you look at R tilde T, this is equal to well A E P by 2 plus N tilde A E P by 2 minus A E P by 2 plus tilde. So, bit error rate is similar to that of BPSK with A E P replaced by a bit error rate or probability of bit error this is the same thing both mean one and the same. is similar to BPSK with A E P replaced by A E P by 2. Therefore, probability of error is Q A E P divided by 2. A P divided by 2 divided by square root of A naught by 2 times E P. Now, we are going to substitute which is equal to well let me first simplify this which is equal to Q square root of A square E P by A naught uh, which is equal to 2 a square E p by 2 n naught. Okay. Now, substitute E p equal to 1 that is pulse normalized to unit energy and remember we have calculated in amplitude shift king we have said that for average bit energy E b A square must be equal to 2 E b. So, substituting A square equals 2 E b we get p equals q square root of A square is 2 E b into E p is 1 divided by 2 n naught divided by 2 n naught which is equal to q. 
square root of a b over a naught that is your probability of error. Okay. So, this is the probability of error for amplitude shift key. This is the probability of error for amplitude shift key. Now, compare this with probability of error. of binary phase shift key compare it with probability of error of binary phase shift key which is equal to q remember this is q square root of two e b or n naught this is the probability of error of binary phase shift key so for amplitude phase amplitude shift keying it is equal to q square root eb over n naught for binary phase shift keying probability of error for binary phase shift keying is q square root 2 E B divided by n. E, look at this, the argument of binary phase shift keying is higher. That is, this is square root of 2 E B over n naught. The argument that is argument of the Q function for amplitude shift keying is simply square root of E B over n naught. And the Q function is a remember, it is important to realize that the Q function is a decreasing function of its argument because Q function represents the tail probability of the Gaussian probability density function correct of the Gaussian random variable. Therefore, as the argument is increasing the tail probability is decreasing, is decreasing therefore, the q function is decreasing all right. So, remember q u if you look at q u what is q u if this is the standard Gaussian random variable that is mean equal to 0 variance equal to 1 this is the this is the standard Gaussian random variable q of u is simply the probability that the standard Gaussian random variable q of u is simply this probability this is your q of u equals probability that the standard Gaussian R v is greater than or equal to u, which we have written as integral u to infinity 1 over square root of 2 pi, correct e to the power of minus t square by 2 d t and therefore, you can clearly see this is a decreasing function of u as u is increasing this is a decrease this is decreasing this is a this is a decreasing function of u as u is increasing the q function is decreasing. Therefore, this means that q the important point here is that q square root of 2 e b over n naught is less than q of square root of well e b over n naught which means which implies that probability of error for BPSK for the same bit energy is less than or equal to probability of bit error for amplitude 
shift key. This is an important result and this comparison remember it is a fair comparison because we are comparing it for the same bit energy. Remember the important consideration here is that both modulation schemes have same bit energy equals E b both the modulation. Therefore, this is a fair comparison that is the important point. The comparison has to be same because if one of them has, has a higher energy right if one of them has a higher energy. So, if one of them this is basically a fair comparison. Okay. Because if one of them has a higher, one of them is a higher beta energy, naturally the beta rate is going to be lower. So, what we are doing is we are maintaining a, uh, maintaining a constant average bit energy across the schemes and comparing the bit error rate performance. And what we have seen is that the bit error for the same average bit energy E b, the bit error rate or the probability of bit error of binary phase shift keying is lower in comparison to that of amplitude shift keying. And this is an important observation. Okay. And how much improvement in bit error rate does binary phase shifts? Now, one can ask the question how much improvement or in bit error rate or B E R How much improvement in bit error rate but does BPSK provide? Now, if you look at this for the same bit error rate, if you look at this for the same bit error rate in BPSK, we need half the average bit energy. That is, if you use half the average bit energy, bit error rate for BPSK, that is, bit error rate for BPSK is 2 half E b divided by A naught equals q square root of well E b over A naught. Okay. So, this is bit error rate. So, this is the bit error rate of B p s k for half bit energy. That is for uh, that is the bit error rate of BPSK with half the average bit energy is same as that uh, is same as the bit error rate of amplitude shift keying with bit energy EB. Okay. So, to provide a similar bit error rate performance, uh, provide a bit error rate performance similar to that of amplitude shift keying, binary phase shift keying requires only half the uh, half the bit energy as half the average energy per bit as that of amplitude shift key. Okay. So, if you look at this for same bit error rate for an identical bit error rate, for the same bit error rate BPSK half Half the average bit energy as that of amplitude shift keying, which implies that energy per bit of BPS key equals half energy per bit of amplitude shift keying. Now, if we convert this into dB terms, this implies that 10 log 10 energy per bit of B p s k equals well minus equals well 10 log 10 half plus 10 log to the base 10 energy per bit 
A s k which implies that the dB difference between the average bit energy of B p s k and A s k is 10 log to the base 10 that is the d b difference minus 10 log to the base 10 energy per bit a s k equals minus 10 uh, equals minus 10 log to the base 10 2 10 log to the base 10 of 2 is 3 this quantity is approximately 3 which means this is minus 3 d b. So, which means that if you look at the d b difference between the average bit energy correct, if you look at the d b difference, if you look at energy per bit b p s k in d b terms, let me make that clear. This is in terms of d b minus energy per bit of amplitude shift keying in d b, this is equal to minus 3 d b. Or what this means is for the same bit rate performance, for the same bit rate performance binary shift phase shift keying requires 3 d b less average bit energy in comparison to amplitude shift keying or in other words amplitude shift keying requires 3 dB higher average bit energy in comparison to binary phase shift keying. Therefore, binary shift phase shift keying is, is, more, is much more efficient correct is more efficient than amplitude shift keying. Okay. So, in dB terms for same B E R B P S K lower average energy per bit or in other words or basically A s k amplitude shift k Three dB higher EB higher EB when compared to when compared to uh, or basically amplitude shift keying requires three dB higher EB when compared to BPSK for for the same bit error rate. So, that is the interesting observation that we would like to make. So, what we have seen in this module is we have completed all, uh, uh, completed our discussion of amplitude shift keying. We have uh, we have described amplitude shift keying which is a different uh, which is a different model for a digital communication system, a, diff a different modulation scheme for a digital communication system in which different waveforms are distinguished by their amplitude uh, amplitude levels correct. We have seen what is the optimal filter, optimal match filter receiver, what is optimal received signals or received signal uh, test statistics after match filtering and sampling and also we have seen what is the optimal decision rule followed by the probability of error and what is the efficiency of amplitude shift keying in comparison to binary phase shift keying. All right. So, we will stop here and continue with other aspects in the subsequent modules.